Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing an unknown quantity. This is standard 4.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Darren. Darren is drinking three glasses of water every day for six days, and each glass contained 12 fluid ounces of water. We need to find an equation to represent W, total number of water that he drank during these six days. So W is going to be our variable. Sometimes it's called that, sometimes it's called the unknown. Either way, it is a letter that stands for something we're looking for. We're looking for water. That's why it starts with a letter W. And we simply need to find an equation to find that. So let's see if we could draw a picture of what's going on. So three glasses of water. So I'm going to make that. Those are my three glasses of water. And that's a day. So he did this in, that's a lot of water in one day. And then Darren is going to do this for six days, so that's two days. And you see I'm just going to kind of keep drawing this pattern here. So I'm halfway through. I've got three days. And as we can see, we're going to get a total of, you've probably already done the work in your head, 18 glasses because I've got six sets of three, and six times three is going to make 18 but we're not looking at 18. Each glass contains 12 fluid ounces. So now I gotta put 12s in each of these. So I could add 12 18 times. That would take forever. I could multiply 18 times 12, that could work. I could also do a few shortcuts here because look at each of these days here. Each of these days are 36. 12 and 12 and 12 is 36. So I could also do 36 times 6. That would also get me the same answer. So let's let's do that. Let's see what we get here. 36 times 6, because 12, 12, and 12 is 36. That's going to get me 36, 18, 21. So 216 fluid ounces is what we're looking for. But remember, we're not necessarily looking for this. This is what our W is going to equal. We're looking for an equation that can help us get there. So obviously, A is not going to get us anywhere close. They simply added, there's no multiplication. We ended up multiplying quite a few times here. 3 plus 6 plus 12. That's going to be 9, 11. That's 21. So... That is 21, and that is not going to work for us. So we've got 12 times 6. So I get this 12 times 6, 12 ounces, 6 days. But the problem is, is there's not just 12 ounces in a day. There's 12 ounces in a glass, and there's three glasses each day for 6 days. So that 12 times 6 is going to get you to 72 still not enough. So this looks very similar to what we did. 3 times 6 times 12. So we did 3 glasses for 6 days each, 12 ounces each. Uh, let's just go ahead and collapse this 3 times 6. That makes 18. So I can do an 18 times 12, a 2 times 2. And... 2 by 2 multiplication, so that's going to be 16. That's 2, add that 1 is 36. That second row is easy, because I'm just going to write 18. And there we go. Looks like we're going to get our 216. So this does look very similar to what we did. That's going to be our 216. Let's just check our last one. 3 times 12 divided by 6. So 3 times 12, that's 36. 36 divided by 6 is going to get you down to 6. So they just use the wrong operation. Our answer here is C.